All right, I got to bring it together and talk about this book real quick here. It, <laughs> geez. It's got a uh, what's up, dog joke in it. <laughs> wow. I had a little flashback to me being a kid, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Bring it together, Jay. Let's talk about this. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Thanks so much for joining me. First things first, I'm not sure what the hell is going on with the hair. It's a Saturday evening here, and uh, it, it's just, you know, pre-bed head. I'm not sure. It was a mess from the get-go. We're going we're gonna to leave it like that. I apologize to everyone who tunes in and check out my hair. And there are a few of you out there. I know it. Kind of weird. Save that for the OnlyFans. Shh, we won't talk about that. Okay, so let's get into this book here. Uh, this is a new book from Mark Taus. <laughs> One Last Shindig, and I'm sorry I'm laughing already. Uh, it's from DNT Publishing. Big thanks to DNT for sending this over for my honest opinion. I mean, they are just hammering out shit left and right lately, uh, keeping me busy. Uh, it's like I'm going to always be behind with their releases, but uh, it, it, it's good. It's good. Right, makes everybody happy getting all these releases out there for us and, and entertaining us, and and this one is pretty entertaining. Yeah, I'm gonna go with entertaining. <laughs> Listen, I know I just talked about Nana a few weeks back, and it involves a lot of old people and jokes, uh, but it was brutal at the surface. You know, a few layers in, it, it was. It was a violent, brutal story. And that's kind of what we have, again, with One Last Shindig. I have some questions, actually, for Mark Taus. You know, he seems like a seems like a pretty cool dude. We, we've chatted a few times uh, through Instagram. Um, I'm actually scheduling him for an episode of Paper Cuts in May. Teaser. And, uh, but I, I kind of need, need to know ahead of time what his fascination with old people is. That's what we have. And no, I'm not getting ready to review Nana again. It's the uh, old people and the humor that once again makes this a winning book. One last shindig. It starts off brutal and violent. It's a very serious way the way it starts off. And I'm not, I'm not going to get too far into the plot because it's short. This one actually comes with an extra uh, novelette at the end of it. Uh, I, I might review that one separate uh, because this is the this is the main part. This is the base here. This is the the laugh out loud book, the story that I want to talk to you about. And and trust me, just because it's laugh out loud doesn't mean uh, that there's not more to it. No, we'll get into that here in a second. Okay, but it starts out something's happening. People are turning on people. I mean, the world's going nuts. Initially, I got a little bit of a feel from a different book I read uh, a few years back by an author named David Moody, and uh, he's got a series, the Hater series, and the, the first book in that series is called Hater, where half the population uh, just becomes haters. Yeah, they just turn on people and they commit these brutal and violent murders, and, and that's kind of the feel we had in the beginning of this story. And that's it. Then we cut to a tour bus full of geriatrics that are overly excited about going to a cave and looking at glowworms. Let me repeat that for you. They are overly excited... <laughs> about going to a cave to look at glow worms again because we're talking about old people if you are a little bit hard of hearing let me say that one more time <laughs> glow worms okay what is worse a a tour bus full of kids nagging are we there yet or a tour bus full of Old people nagging 
are we there yet? I don't know if I want the answer to that or not. I don't know if there is a straight up true answer to that. But this is where the, the humor of Mark Taus comes in. Within the conversations of the old people in the bus, and there are a lot of conversations, and it, it, it's frantic at times, it's chaotic at times, and you're just reading the words at your own pace. But it's very chaotic. <laughs> it's just liner after liner, zingers after zingers, a what's up dog joke. And then, of course, a little bit later towards the end, you know, some of you know my favorite joke. There's a, <laughs> that's what she said joke in there too. A reference to that joke. So that bumps us up for me on my like list <laughs> that may have given it an extra star in my rating but uh it, it, we, we have a character named eric he's the star he's the star he's got all those eagers all right and, and the conversation is just perfect and i'm automatically picturing this conversation and half of them are probably hard of hearing and they're like what'd you say and and huh and it's just going back and forth it i don't need to really tell you about how, how old people are I mean, apparently Mark Taus is surrounded by him because he, he he writes them like perfectly. And there are terms, there are terms in this uh, book that I never thought I would read before. Muscle spray. What the hell is muscle spray? <laughs> read the book and you'll see. All right. Now, I will tell you, there, there are a lot of people in this book. All right. So you may want to take note of the names the names of the characters in this so you don't get it mixed up you know don't don't worry about it if you do uh the story is still great if you get the names mixed up i'm not talking from experience or anything yeah. my memory is probably that of a 90 year old sometimes you know which fits perfectly with this story because we have a lot of old people <laughs> there's a, there's a section where <laughs> Uh, they they uh, they stopped to go to the bathroom, but then they had to stop five minutes later to do it again. <laughs> it's just uh, so much of it rings true. Read the book, all right. A lot of characters you may not like that. I, I get confused sometimes with so many, but it doesn't take away from the actual story. The book overall is a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think I want to tell you much about it, honestly. I, I well, I've told you some things about it, but I don't want to really tell you anything else i don't want to go too far into the plot or anything uh there are just sometimes some things that you should experience for yourself and discover for yourself i mean i could sit here and tell you all the jokes that that show up in it uh but then you won't have the same reaction to them when you actually read it and i don't want that to happen and, and don't think that this is just a big book of jokes i think i mentioned the same thing when i reviewed nana a few weeks ago uh, now granted Mark Taus wrote that like a year or so ago, and I'm just I was just late to the party for that one. Uh, so here we are, a year, year and a half later, with another uh, book of old people and jokes. Uh, there is a, a a violent, brutal story happening in this. You know, there are several layers to this, and there is a layer of the actual violent and brutal story that's happening. It's just mixed in with a bunch of uh, lighthearted jokes to kind of lighten the mood a little bit so it's not so totally full of dread and and, and just total dreariness and and so you feel you feel good it's a horror book that you feel good after you read it you know, a lot of times we read it and we're like afterwards we're like oh man i'm so depressed now no <laughs> this one's a little different all right it, it, it's fun it, it's a good mixture of things all right and this is what uh tells us master blending in uh, the, the violent, brutal, gut-wrenching stories with jokes to lighten them up with. Did I sell it? Does that sound like something you want to check out? Cool. Because I know I didn't give it any kind of justice. It, it's fun. <laughs> Look, it made my hair get all messy. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I should apologize to my hair fans out there. Yeah. If you've read it, let me know. Comment down below if you plan on reading it. Let me know down below if I scared you away from it. Uh, let me know why down below. <sighs> because of this chaotic and, and crazy 
video about it. It happens. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the that's what she said joke. <laughs> And it was a good setup too. Such a good setup on that one. Yeah, that's going to do it. Okay. I appreciate you stopping by. This has been a cluster. Yeah, it's been a ramble. But I appreciate you stopping by though. Until we meet again, stay safe. See you. Uh, bye bye now.